Want to have the best biceps? Wondering where to start? Today, we're diving into the world of bicep development. We'll break down the essentials, proper form, consistency, and a balanced diet. Because let's face it, you can't build Rome or biceps in a day. It's about the journey, the commitment to yourself, and the understanding that each curl brings you closer to your goal. So, are you ready to take the first step? Stay tuned to find out how to get those biceps you've always dreamed of. Scene script. First, grasp the anatomy of the bicep. It's not just about how much you lift. Diving right in, the bicep is not a single entity. It's a complex structure composed of two primary muscle groups, the biceps brachii and the brachialis. To truly understand the power and potential of your biceps, it's crucial to understand these two muscle groups. The biceps brachii is the muscle you see popping up when you flex. It's a two-headed muscle that lies on the upper arm between the shoulder and the elbow. It has two parts, the long head and the short head. The long head is located on the outside of the arm and is responsible for that desirable peak when flexed, while the short head located on the inside of the arm gives the arm thickness. Now, let's talk about the brachialis. This muscle is not as visible as the biceps brachii but it's equally important. Located underneath the biceps brachii, the brachialis is primarily responsible for elbow flexion, which means it's working hard every time you curl or lift something. Why is this anatomical knowledge important, you ask? Well, understanding the structure of these muscle groups can help you target your workouts more effectively. It's not just about lifting heavy weights, it's about working smarter, not harder. For instance, if you want to increase the peak of your biceps, now you know you need to focus on exercises that target the long head of the biceps brachii. On the other hand, if you're after more arm thickness, exercises that target the short head and brachialis should be your go-to. And remember, every muscle in our body is interconnected. So, while it's important to target specific muscles for growth, a well-rounded workout routine that includes exercises for all muscle groups will lead to more balanced and sustainable muscle development. With this knowledge, you can aim your workouts to hit all areas of the bicep for maximal growth. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get down to work, shall we? Now let's delve into the importance of form. Form, in the context of exercise, is the precise alignment and movement of your body as you perform a specific workout. When it comes to bicep exercises, maintaining the right form is crucial. Why? Well, it comes down to two main reasons. Preventing injury and maximizing muscle growth. Let's start with injury prevention. Your biceps, though they might seem robust, are susceptible to strains and tears if not properly cared for. By maintaining the right form, you ensure that the right muscles are doing the work and not placing undue stress on your joints, ligaments or other muscles. Imagine lifting a heavy weight with a hunched back. You're inviting not only back pain but also potential injury to your spine. The same principle applies to your biceps, now on to muscle growth. You've probably heard the saying, no pain, no gain. Well, that's not entirely accurate. You see, when you perform an exercise with proper form, you're engaging the muscle fully and effectively. This leads to optimal muscle fiber recruitment, which in turn leads to better muscle growth. On the other hand, if your form is off, you might be sharing the load with other muscles, not really giving your biceps the workout they need. So, how do you ensure you're maintaining the right form? It's about being mindful and aware. Check your posture. Are you standing straight, shoulders back, chest out? Are your elbows staying close to your body during curls? Are you controlling the motion instead of letting momentum do the work? These are all critical questions to ask yourself during your workout. In the end, it's not about lifting the heaviest weights or doing the most reps. It's about doing them right. You might do fewer reps with proper form, but the benefits you'll reap are far greater. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Remember, quality over quantity. It's not about how many reps you can do, but how well you can do them. Ready to pump those biceps? Here are some effective exercises. First on our list is the classic bicep curl. To perform this, stand up straight with a dumbbell in each hand, arms fully extended, and palms facing forward. Now, keeping the upper arm stationary, exhale and curl the weights while contracting your biceps. Continue to raise the weights until your biceps are fully contracted and the dumbbells are at shoulder level. Hold this contracted position for a brief pause as you squeeze your biceps. Then, inhale and slowly begin to lower the dumbbells back to the starting position. Next up we have the hammer curl. The hammer curl targets a different part of the bicep than the traditional curl and can add a whole new dimension to your arm development. Begin in the same starting position as the bicep curl. 
but this time your palms will be facing your torso. Keeping your upper body still, curl the dumbbells while keeping your palms towards your body. Imagine you're hammering a nail into a wall at waist level. It's a small adjustment but it makes a world of difference. Don't have dumbbells? No worries. The chin-up is an excellent bodyweight exercise that can really work those biceps. Start by hanging from a bar with your palms facing towards you and your hands about shoulder width apart. Pull yourself up until your head is above the bar, then lower yourself back down. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Another great exercise to consider is the concentration curl. This exercise really isolates the biceps giving you a fantastic pump. To do this, sit on a bench with a dumbbell in front of you between your legs. Your legs should be spread with your knees bent and feet on the floor. Use your right arm to pick up the dumbbell. Place the back of your upper right arm on the top of your inner right thigh. Now curl the dumbbell upward while contracting your biceps as you breathe out. Only the forearms should move. Continue this movement until your biceps are fully contracted and the dumbbells are at shoulder level. And finally, we have the preacher curl. For this, you'll need a preacher bench and an easy bar. Grab the easy curl bar at the close grip. The palms of your hands should be facing forward and slightly tilted inward due to the shape of the bar. As you breathe out, use your biceps to curl the weight up until your biceps are fully contracted and the bar is at shoulder height. Hold the contracted position for a moment as you squeeze your biceps. Then inhale and slowly lower the bar back to the starting position. Incorporate these exercises into your routine and you'll start to see those biceps bulge. Exercise alone won't get you those biceps, you have to fuel your body right. Now, let's dive into the world of nutrition and its role in muscle growth and recovery. Just think of your body as a high-performance vehicle. It needs the right kind of fuel to run efficiently and optimally. So, what's the best fuel for your body? A balanced diet. This includes a mix of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, along with essential vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates provide the energy you need to power through your workouts, while fats play a crucial role in hormone production and overall health. But when it comes to building those biceps, protein is the star of the show. Why? Because protein is made up of amino acids, the building blocks of your muscles. After a rigorous bicep workout, your muscle fibers are damaged. This is where protein comes in. Consuming protein aids in repairing and rebuilding these damaged muscle fibers, resulting in muscle growth. The rule of thumb is, aim to consume around 1 gram of protein per pound of your body weight each day. This could come from sources like lean meats, fish, eggs, dairy, or plant-based proteins if you're vegan or vegetarian. Hydration is another crucial aspect of nutrition. Muscles are around 75% water so, not only does staying hydrated keep you feeling good, it also plays a significant role in muscle function and recovery. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day, not just during your workout. Lastly, remember that everyone's body is different. What works for one person may not work for another. It's important to listen to your body and adjust your diet accordingly. You might find it helpful to work with a registered dietitian or nutritionist to create a nutrition plan tailored to your specific needs and goals. In conclusion, exercise is just one part of the equation. The food you eat plays an equally important role in your journey to achieving those impressive biceps. Remember, a good diet is the fuel that your body needs to build those biceps. Consistency and rest are key in any fitness journey. It's no secret that building the perfect biceps doesn't happen overnight. It's the result of a consistent effort, combined with adequate rest for muscle recovery and growth. Let's start with consistency. Consistency in fitness is like water eroding a rock. It's not the force, but the persistent drop that makes an impact. Similarly, it's not about how heavy you lift or how hard you train in one session, but how consistently you show up for your workout sessions. It's about hitting the gym or your home workout space day after day, week after week, month after month. It's about sticking to your routine, even when you don't feel like it. Now let's talk about rest. If consistency is the key to unlock your fitness goals, then rest is the oil that keeps the lock functioning smoothly. When you lift weights, you create microscopic tears in your muscle fibers. These tears are not a bad thing, in fact they are essential for muscle growth. But for these tears to heal and for your muscles to grow, they need rest. Think of your muscles as a construction site. The actual building, or in this case the muscle growth, happens when the workers or your body's recovery mechanisms get to work. And when do they do this? When you rest. 
That's why it's so important to give your muscles ample time to recover between workouts. And remember, rest does not mean being completely inactive. It means giving your biceps a break while you train other muscle groups, and getting a good night's sleep, so don't skimp on your ziz. In the end, it all boils down to balance. You need to balance your consistency with rest. Too much of either can hinder your progress, so, train hard, rest well, and stay consistent. Your biceps will thank you for it. Remember, your muscles grow when you rest, not when you lift. Let's recap what you've learned today. It's been a journey, hasn't it? But every step of the way we've been building towards a common goal, crafting the best biceps. We started off by diving into the anatomy of the bicep. Understanding the structure of these muscles is the foundation of any successful training regimen. We learned that the biceps brachii, as it is scientifically known, is composed of two parts, the long and short head. The long head gives your biceps that peak when flexed, while the short head contributes to the overall mass. Then we moved on to discuss the critical importance of form. Remember when it comes to fitness, quality always trumps quantity. It's not about how many reps you do but how well you do each one. Proper form ensures that you're targeting the right muscles and reduces the risk of injury. So always keep your elbows close to your body when curling, and remember to fully extend your arms at the bottom for a full range of motion. Our discussion about effective bicep exercises was a fun one, wasn't it? We explored a variety of exercises from the classic barbell curl to the hammer curl and the preacher curl. Each exercise targets the bicep in a slightly different way, helping to build both the long and short head for a balanced, well-rounded look. Mix and match these exercises in your workout routine to keep things interesting and to challenge your muscles in different ways. But as we discussed, exercise is just one part of the equation. Nutrition plays a vital role in muscle growth and recovery. Protein is the building block of muscles, so make sure you're getting enough of it in your diet. Also, don't forget about healthy fats and complex carbohydrates, which provide the energy you need for those intense workouts. And let's not forget hydration water plays a key role in almost every bodily function, including muscle development. Of course, none of this would be complete without consistency and rest. Consistency is what turns actions into habits, and habits into noticeable results. Keep up with your workouts, maintain your nutritional plan, and soon you'll start seeing those biceps grow. But also remember that rest is just as important as the workouts themselves. Your muscles grow and repair themselves during periods of rest, so make sure you're getting enough sleep and giving your body time to recover between workouts. So there you have it. We've covered a lot of ground today, but remember that building great biceps like any fitness goal is a journey. It takes time, effort, and a lot of dedication. But with the knowledge you've gained today, you're well equipped to embark on this journey. With these tips in mind, you're on your way to getting those best biceps. Good luck on your fitness journey.